Hey, how's it going? You send a lot of cold emails. Keeping up with the replies can take some time. Sometimes it takes a dedicated person to manage your inbox, formulate a reply, send it back to the prospect. What if you could automate that with AI and the AI writes the response for you and leaves it in the drafts? So when you log in in the morning, all of the replies are ready to roll. You just need to quickly press edit and send back to your prospect. This would speed up your workflow and hopefully let you close more deals faster. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Here's a classic cold email, which I'm going to email myself. I'm sending it from one business email address to another one. I've used the subject line quick question, although it's got a spelling mistake. And I'm just going to see if I want to buy my own software. So I've said, I love your latest release on Spotify. I work with record labels for your interest. I'm wondering how you promote music. Primarily is a tool that helps record labels promote music over email. Does this interest you? Now I'm going to send this to myself. Okay. And I will go over to my other email box. Refresh this, wait for it to come through. So here's my email to me. I'm going to reply back saying, I'd love to learn more. Can you send more info? This is like you, you know, lots of people will say, yes, I'm interested. No, I'm not. Yes. Can I book a meeting? Yes. Can I have more information? Usual various responses. So. If I press send now, I've got a trigger set up on Zapier. And if I find it, where are we? So this is what I've built. So I've got a trigger set up on step one, and this will match new incoming emails with a specific criteria. So I've got my account set up here, which is my primary email. And then the trigger here is subject RE colon quick question this is a google search operator which you can plug into gmail if you just copy and paste this change this part it will filter down to the email you're looking for the reason why i've um, included re is because when you respond to someone it appends re colon and then your subject line to the email thread if you just leave quick question off you might get kind of outgoing email it shouldn't do but it's easier if you tell it what to look for so it's going to look for all incoming mail with this query string which if you're sending cold emails and use quick question this can be ideal just change this to whatever you need and then press continue so i am going to find new records Let's have a look. Here we go. So here's the email I've just responded back saying, I'd love to learn more. Can you send more info? I'm going to choose this and I'm going to continue. I've got chat GPT set up on the second step. So once the email comes in, chat GPT is going to do something useful. I hope so. The user message I've told it, you're an email copywriter, copywriter, copywriter and sales STR. You're currently selling music promotion software for Promoly, a music promo tool. And I need you to respond appropriately to recipients replies. Don't include a subject line. Sometimes chat BT goes rogue. I only need the body of the email. So that should be enough. And then the email reply, I'm including the email which has been responded to here. So it's taken my instruction, it's going to add the response, ChatGPT is going to write a new response and then create a draft and send it back. I've done testing this morning to see what works and doesn't work. Chat 3.5 isn't good enough. I end off, it just writes absolute waffle. Just use ChatGPT for it. costs a little bit more money, but in the frustration it solves is well worth it. You don't have to worry about any of this down here you can tweak for max tokens and the temperature remember the higher the temperature the more creative it will be the lower the more serious it will be one is in the middle top p i've just left this do what you wish with us and then we're gonna retest this step here so this is going to get the email response that i've sent back to me which it found and it's going to write something so we'll just let this continue 
almost takes forever when you're doing the tutorial. When you're not doing your tutorial, it does it in like two seconds. Sometimes I get concerned with the length it is thinking, how much it is writing. That's where you need to um, tell it to kind of use max tokens so it doesn't go too overboard. So if we scroll down here, we should see the response at the bottom. Here we go. So it's created something or other. So we'll just continue. And then we'll do a create a draft. So I want to test this and I'm going to retest this step here. Now, if we go to my inbox, here's the draft, okay? So I've sent an email, I've responded back to myself. So you can see here, I'm selling Promelia, so you run a record label, blah, 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 blah. I've responded back, said I'd love to learn more. Can you send me more info? ChatGPT has written that info. I don't know if it's correct. I'm going to find out and um, we'll see. So hi there. So I need to change the name in. So that will have to be Pete. This is where don't leave it on auto send because you never know what it's going to send out, but it might help you speed up your workflow, especially if you're doing this for customers and you're mailing like a thousand out a day or something ridiculous. So thanks for your interest in Primly, our promotional tool. I'm more than happy to provide you with more detail. That's good. Primly is designed for record labels and marketing professionals. That's accurate. It's integrated marketing solution to promote your music and expand your reach. Yes. Great. Trackable campaigns. That's correct. Mobile responsive. That's correct. Data, easy contact management. Yeah, this is good. Um, it's obviously crawled primarily in the past. Um, so it's got some data. This one is now out of date. So you'll just need to tell your prompt what you do and what you don't do for your customer. Uh, give it some rules to follow instead of just letting it kind of decide what it wants to do. But if this means I have to edit 30 seconds worth instead of writing a whole new response for every single incoming and outgoing email, that's going to speed up my workflow massively. And also it means you don't have to hire an external person to manage your inbox. You could quite easily do this with like a virtual assistant and AI. So at the end, it's given a nice CTA. Let me know if, if you want to arrange a call or anything specific you want to know about best and then my name. I'm pretty happy with that and it's written pretty well. And this will just continuously run on autopilot, set this up for all of your email boxes, change the setup for the subject line. You might use different subject line tests. It might save you some time. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Cheers.